originally I, I became a member of Beyond the Game. Um, I heard about it in one of my classes taught by uh, Dr. LeVar Charleston, and he's a big, he's, he's big into um, thinking about life outside of your sport and having parallel plans um, with your sport and then also with your, with your life outside of the sport. So there are things um, with Beyond the Game that even just being a member of it, I wasn't really a fan of and things that I thought were missing. Um, that the things that I've heard around the locker room that they felt that it could be more beneficial for two teammates. So um, I talked to, um, well, now it's um, Juice Weaver, but um, the prior president or leader of the uh, the program, and I talked to him about it and thought about change that we can, changes we could make. And then um, right away he made me president. And um, I think that um, it, it's grown a bit and um, it's it's been very beneficial. And there, it's it's like I said, it's getting traction and guys from different sports, not just football. I mean, I have buddies on the soccer team that come now and we have a lot of rowers that come too. But the things that we were doing were a lot of, a lot of like there was service, I mean, which is good. There was service and there were like team building exercises and stuff. And, and we'd have people come in talking about leadership and it was good. We had great speakers and stuff, but I felt like we weren't doing enough networking and, and getting, getting the members of the group in front of people that could help us in the future outside of our sports. So um, I started having um, kind of like interviewing seminars and how to, how to answer interview questions. I'm um, talking about like the elevator pitch and stuff like that. And, um, and now there's, there's been a lot more interest in the group because people, the, the athletes want to think about life outside of their sport because they know they can't play their sport forever. So um, that, and I think that's what has helped the program grow and that interest from other sports is, I think it's been, been a bit official for beyond the game. Harry, how do you find the time? <laughs> uh, you, I mean, you, being an athlete, I mean, you always hear time management, time management, but in my opinion, I mean, it's kind of hard not to manage your time because everything's so so laid out for you. So um, yeah, it gets tough and you get tired. Like you want to take a nap sometimes, and I, I still find time to sleep. You can ask a lot of my teammates. I I probably take the most naps on the team, but um, you you just you just, it, it's it's easier when you're doing things you want to do, and and that. Um, that that's probably an easy answer to say, but like the classes I'm taking, they're pretty interesting classes that I enjoy, and and obviously I love playing football. And um, beyond the game, like I said, um, now that Juice is kind of giving me giving me freedom to kind of, I mean he's guiding me, but he's giving me freedom to kind of have um, do things more that I want to do, and that I see are beneficial for all the other student athletes. So it's it's a lot more fun. So you you find the time. You excited for the spring game and, and oh, yeah. kind of feeding into next season definitely um it'll, it'll be a good time and uh and I was just talking to Brian about it it's, it'll be good get, seeing the young guys you know get their last practice and stuff for the spring um uh it'll 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 be fun having fans there to be able to play in front of fans because uh lately we've just been playing in front of you guys at practice so it'll be fun to play in front of fans and have some people actually applaud us when you make a big play so it, it'll be a, it'll be a good time